A terrorist attack in Kenya has hit close to home for a number of international students attending Lethbridge College. At least 62 people are dead and dozens are still unaccounted for after terrorists stormed a busy shopping mall Saturday afternoon. For Kenyan students studying in Lethbridge, the news from home is disturbing and unsettling. Terry Vogt reports. Phyllis Awando is hoping her studies at Lethbridge College will lead to a career in marketing. But right now her mind isn't totally focused on school. She's also thinking about family and friends back home in Kenya. At first I was very scared, of course very shocked. I didn't know whether my family was okay. And so I had to call, I had to text. For Awando and other Kenyan students, a terrorist attack on the busy Westgate shopping mall has hit close to home. Yeah, it's so sad. It just, feels, uh, it just makes you like feeling uh, like you want to cry. Edwin Katani says he knows a kid from his village who works at the mall. If he got injured in the attack or if he's still alive, I got no any news about it. My family members, they are in the military and some of them, they were injured too. So I don't know who were injured because they kept it like secret. Shadrick Yekon says he's been watching the television coverage but is anxiously waiting for details. Many of the Kenyan students say they've been to the shopping mall. Some say they would often hang out there. They say there was always the threat of violence, but when it did happen, it came as a complete shock. Oh yeah, it was unbelievable because like everybody's, uh, the security there is very high. These students say all mall visitors had to pass through scanners, that pictures and video were strictly prohibited. They describe it as an upscale shopping center a place Phyllis Owando loved to visit on Saturdays. And so it was quite shocking actually when I had that incident took place right there. I mean, it would have been me who was there probably doing my shopping or, you know, just hanging out with friends. So it was really shocking and very scary actually. Terry Vogt, CTV News, Lethbridge. Lethbridge College currently has 14 students from Kenya.